Good day. This is Leticia again um, with Soul's Brave Wisdom. And so the, earlier this morning, I recorded a podcast um, talking about this winter solstice. Today is December 21st and um, the sun has moved into Capricorn. So as this is a part uh, so that You know, since this is the winter solstice and uh, the sun is being reborn after being in its fall and we have Jupiter and Saturn who have just come into this great conjunction in the sign of Aquarius today as well. I had um, talked about um, setting uh, intentions today. Um, It's really powerful. It's a powerful time to do it, to set you up for this next year coming up. And not only just this next year, but this is a powerful energy that will push forward for the next 20 years. So um, I had mentioned that you can do a ritual or you can set your intentions. And I did not go through all of the houses. I really just mentioned the seventh house. Um, and, and that is because that is where my, uh, where Aquarius sits in my chart. So I'm just going to run through the houses because I had one person ask about the fifth house. So I'm going to run through all of the houses where you would have Aquarius and what you could possibly set your intentions for as these uh, particular areas govern. Um, these particular areas of life that I'm going to mention. So if you have Aquarius rising, Aquarius in your, is in your first house. So Saturn and Jupiter are there. This will be a great day for you to set your intention regarding anything that has to do with your body, that you want to be stable, that you want to last. So what is it that you want? You know, a strong body, um, greater uh, physicality, greater communication, um, greater speech, anything that uh, comes from you, you know, you can set your intention from because the first house is the helm. So it it is ruling the whole life. So really any area that you want to, uh, to be stable, uh, to be stronger, to be expressed uh, more, the first house, if you have Aquarius in the first house, you can really hit any topic, but specifically the body uh, is, is the uh, focus for the first house. Then if you have Aquarius in the second house, this is a good time for you to set intentions or do a ritual regarding your finances, your income, your possessions that you have for them to have longevity, for them to be strengthened, for them to flow more uh, smoothly, for them to have equality. Um, Okay, and then when we move to the uh, third house, this is communication, um, short distance travel, your relationships with your siblings, your aunts, your uncles, you know, those extended family members. If you want to have stronger relationships and greater communication, you can set your intention regarding that um, on today. Uh, The fourth house. Um, you can set your intention. If you have Aquarius in the fourth house, you can set your intention regarding a family. If you want to have a family, if you want your family to be strengthened, if you want to buy a new house, if you want to um, have your career in real estate, if you want a business that you are working from home, or if you already have one that you work from home, this is a great time for you to set your intention for this to be um, fixed and for it to be have equality in it and for there to be great communication in it, um, for there to be a level of brilliance in it. Um, and so this would be a great time for you to do that. Uh, parents and relationships, parental relationships, if there is a struggle, even connecting with your ancestors, this is a great place. The fourth house would be a great place for you to set intention around strengthening that as well. The fifth house um, is if you have Aquarius in the fifth house, then this is a place of children. If you have children, if you want children, this will be a great time to set intention for you to um, um, uh, get pregnant this year. A great time for that. Um, It would be a great time if you already have children for you to um, uh, set intentions around wonderful things for your children, for your relationship with your children to become stronger, more stable for your uh, if you um, are an actress or an actor, if you're a performer of any kind, then uh, set your intention around equality and stability in this area for you. If you are an artist, the fifth house governs that. Um, again, all creativity, 
all of the things that are fun. Uh, if you want a new lover in your life, if you want your sex life to be increased, then this would be the time to set your intentions about that so that there would be um, more stability in your sex life so that it would be uh, greater for you so that there will be more equality that you could have a lover come into your life where there is equality in the relationship. Um, and, and just lots more uh, fun that remains that your life will be filled with more joy in these particular areas, because this is the house of the joy of Venus. Okay. Then when we go over to the sixth house, if you have Aquarius in the sixth house, then um, regarding your health, you want to set intentions around your health. If you have any health issues that are chronic or even acute, that you would have the understanding that you would get the communication from spirit about how you can improve your health so that you could um, establish some um, exercise routine or a way of eating uh, to care for your, your health, uh, because this is a house of illness. So you want to really, really focus on this. Um, you also want to uh, set intentions around if there are any enemies that, that you may have, because this house governs that if there are any enemies that they would be revealed to you and that, uh, that spirit would, um, remove your enemies from your life. You can set intentions around that. Um, so that, um, you would have more strength in your body so that you can do the work, uh, with stability that it is that you want to do with equality, uh, being and brilliance, being a part of your daily activities that you, that you take on. Um, if you have people who work for you, if you have employees, then this will be a time for you to set your intentions around having uh, a stable and brilliant and uh, loyal employees who work for you, where there is equality amongst your uh, uh, um, uh, the co-workers or your employees, that there is loyalty to you and that there is loyalty between them, that there is equality and that there is peace amongst them and that they are able to work well together and that it would have some longevity to it. And then when we go over to the seventh house, I talked about this in my uh, earlier video. So this is regarding any partnership. So if it is a um, a lover or romantic partnership, if it is a business partnership, if you um, have new clients that you want to come in, uh, then you want to set your intentions around any of the relationships that are in your life where you are partnering with people to bring forward something that is stable, something that uh, has equality, something that has brilliance in it, um, something that is uh, serving on the higher level um, and, and um, all parties who are involved in the partnership um, feel this uh, equality in service that is not one-sided, but that it would last long and that it would grow um, uh, grow throughout over time, you know, it would expand Jupiter and Saturn together and the stability of it would, would be, um, expanded and stabilized. Okay. Then we go over to the eighth house, which is the house of other people's resources. And, um, it has to do with, um, inheritances and, uh, taxes and, Anything that has to do with uh, money or, or gifts that would come outside of you, perhaps you would inherit some land or inherit some money. So this is setting intention so that um, the doors would be open, the gates would be open for you to receive more resources, either from clients, if there is anything that is hidden that you cannot see, resources or inheritance that um, you have not known is available to you, or if you are um, needing to get a loan or some uh, financial assistance um, of any sort that this will be opened up to you for, um, opened up for you at this time, uh, so that there would be some stability in it, so that there would be equality in it. And, and so that you would be able to, um, receive it quickly, even as the wind and the air talking about Aquarius moves quickly, but there will be some stability in it for you as this is, uh, we're talking about fixed energy. Okay. And then, um, you can also for eighth house, you can also talk about trauma being released because this is the darkest night of the year where the darkness will last the longest. Um, so that there would be a, a removal 
of trauma and traumatic things that have hurt you. And that as the sun grows and grows and grows, that, um, there would be healing, uh, that would happen uh, within your mind and within your soul. You can set intentions for that so that there would be a release and then a growing of the thing that, that it is that you want as far as, um, if there is any trauma, even if there is any debt or, or taxes that you owe, that there would be a releasing of that and that there would be a, a growth of freedom as it relates to your finances and more equality and equilibrium um, in your resources that you are able to bring in. Okay. And then, so uh, we move over to the ninth house and the ninth house has to do with, um, has to do with communication, has to do with beliefs. It has to do with long distance travel. It has to do with your gurus and your teachers. So you can set intention this year. If you want to um, go to higher education, if you want to get your bachelor's, your master's, your doctoral degree, you can set intentions that uh, things would open up for you in this area and that it will be stable and that it will come through in a brilliant way and that um, things would open up and that um, they would flow freely for you. Um, so and if this is, if you want a new teacher, if you want to, uh, expand your understanding and spirituality, uh, this is a, a great time to set intention regarding that. If you want to do long distance travel, if you want to travel internationally, this is a great time for set in setting intentions for this so that it will be stable. So that it's something that would, would grow over time and be consistent and that, um, and that it would flow freely. This would be a great time to tap into that. Then when we move over to our uh, even ninth house, also, if there are any legal issues that you may have, that there would be justice that would happen for you. Then when we go over to the 10th house, uh, the 10th house has to do with your reputation in the world, how people see you in the world. Um, uh, also has to do with your career. It has to do with, um, Again, mainly how you are seen and recognized in the world. And so if you want that to change, if you want there to be some stability in that, uh, this is a great time to set intention around what it is uh, that you want in this regard. Um, so if you want to move to a manager, a managerial position, if you want to own your own business, if you want to be seen as a business owner, if you want to uh, even be married, you want to be no longer seen as single and you want to be married. This is a great time to set intention for this or vice versa. If you are married and you want to be single and you want to be seen as single in the world, you want that to be your reputation. This is a good time to set your intention for that. Um, for stability, for it to come in, for free flowing, for it to expand. Then the 11th house is the house of friendships and networks that support your career. Um, it is a house of um, uh, rewards for the work that you have done in your career. So if you want to have new friendships, to join a new group, join a new sorority, join a new church, uh, join, uh, just have a new group of friends, you join a new meetup or you know, a new online group, then you want to set your intentions for that. If there is an award this year that you know that your company gives out each year and you want to receive that award this year, you want to be seen as someone who is putting the best foot forward and so forth and receive that reward. And this is a great time for you to set your intention today regarding that. Then, um, if we move over to the 12th house, the 12th house um, has to do with release. It has to do with the letting go. It has to do with the tie and the link between spirit and this earthly realm. So if you want to connect more with the spirit realm, if you want to, um, some people may want to be involved more so in, in mediumship or hearing more, using the tarot, being involved in divination more so, um, there you can set your attention, intention, um, for this, that this would be increased in your life, that there would be more stability, that there would be more um, equal flowing information coming into you from the spirit realm, that you will be able to hear clearly and that this is something that would grow and it would be a stable gift that is added to your life. Also, the 12th house um, 
the 12th house is this place of research. So if you want to increase your research um, ability, uh, you need that for what it is that you feel that you are called to do. This is a great time to set your in attention and intention and perhaps do ritual regarding this. So um, just a quick ritual that you could do. You could just um, light a candle, a white candle. If you have cascadia, if you have sage, you can use that for um, just to protect yourself and cleanse your area with the sage. Or, or if you have myrrh and frankincense, incense, you could clean your area with that. You can just um, uh, wash over your your aura with that, and um, you can just lift up a prayer. You could just lift up a prayer with that candle, or if you don't want to go through that, you can get your sheet of paper and you can write it out what it is that your intention is. Put your date. Put the today's date. Put your name on there and begin by giving thanks. I give thanks for. Start out each sentence with I give give thanks for because there is so much power when you give thanks. So you just go forth and put forth thanks for everything that it is that you want to see manifest in these particular areas as this year continues on. And um, you end it with a thank you and sign your name, fold it up, um, put it away, and then uh, we'll, you pull it back out, you know, when the solstice, the winter solstice comes back around. And um, move your life forward with what it is that you have um, have spoken, because there's so much power in what it is that you say, and and your belief and your faith that that will come to you. So I thank you so much for listening. I hope that this um, helped you. Again, my name is Letitia with Soul Spread Wisdom. Ashe, Ashe, Asheyo, Yorhevafe.